good government is about problem solving. And, and often you have to think out of the box. I'm sure you've all done problem solving in your work or home, whatever. But like right now, we, we have the smallest possible box that we're operating with, where we have two options. And so when you're starting to analyze issues, you know, I mean, I would like for you to take a step back and really see the complexity of it and resist thinking that there are only two positions, one advanced by the Democratic Party, one advanced by the Republican Party. Because it's usually, it just, it's just, you can't simplify it like that without sacrificing a lot of substance. This is why, to me, it's so important that we're nonpartisan. You know, and nonpartisan doesn't mean that you're, you're not registered to vote as a Democrat because we have to participate at some level in the electoral process. It just means it's an, it's an analytic thing. It's, a, it's an intellectual, conceptual thing where you are able to look at an issue you know, with, with your intelligence, with your personal experiences, instead of as a Democrat or Republican or whatever you are. You know, that you're able to find a framework that might be completely different from the existing one. The frameworks that are presented to us in our current political discourse, they're extremely <laughs> limiting. You know, and um, and I think you know, immigration is a is a good, good good example of that. It's like, are you for or against illegal immigration? Like, you know, you know, it's it's just it's just not that simple. Because like, who's for illegal immigration? Like, no one's for it. Even the people who are here illegally, they're not. They don't want to be illegal. You know, but you know, we're dealing with a very broken system. So like, how do we how do we fix that? It's very complicated. But the way people want to present it is like you're either for or against. And you're like, oh, you know, how do I even answer that? But people benefit from that framework. Oh, of course. You know? And then they, they pass very extreme policies saying, OK, we're all against illegal immigration. So then these people have no rights. This is why I think it's important that nonpartisan way, you know, meaning we open ourselves up to think about things with different frameworks. And maybe even find a framework that works even better than anything that's been proposed. Instead of accepting the frameworks that are already out there, you're either for or against big government. OK, like, what, is, what does that mean? <laughs> you know? But then people think, well, yeah, you know, I'm against big government. So therefore, and they have all these ideas about what that means. So this is why you know, we need to be able to come together and talk about things in a way that actually makes more sense to us. <laughs> you know, where you can take an issue and say, we need Wall Street regulated. OK. I don't care if you're calling it big government. We need regulation. We need rules here. You know? And you, you, know, you can make that argument and say, this has nothing to do with the size of a government, in a way, because most of the time we're talking about how much money we're spending on on programs, entitlement programs. But you know, we need rules. We need clearly defined rules, collectively decided what those rules are. You know? and, and unless we have that, we don't have a fair system. And in fact, that's not even a free market if you have monopolies and you don't even have a fair, fair system. right? And so that's an example of where the whole big government, small government, you can't apply that that conceptual framework to just everything. I, you know, this whole like two sides of an argument. Yeah, in a way like, okay, it's kind of hard to escape that framework, but I really think for most issues, we have to kind of start over in how we think about it. And it's not, it's gonna look very different from, you know, how it's being presented to us right now.